my name is kiran ellor and today i am here to show how to realize a uh, sr flip flop using verilog code before realizing a uh, sr flip flop we have to know what is a uh, sr flip flop and we have to know the logic diagram truth table and uh, rtl schematic of it here we go here we have the rtl logic diagram and rtl truth table the rtl logic diagram uh, it consists of two and gates and uh, two nor gates and uh, we have two inputs s and r and a clock and two outputs q and qb and we have truth table here it consists of five cases where the clock is in negative eight cycle and the input is undetermined in the first case and uh, in that case the output is q and qb that is the previous value of the q and qb and there is there is no change in the output just go through the truth table once you will come to know what is it about and that is a reset state set state and undetermined form and again the no change from these five conditions uh, just have a look at it because it is very useful to write program and the test bench in the future for the realization purpose i am using isc design suit 14.7 software so let's start the realization of of sr flip flop to close my ongoing projects so that i can start a new project so now i am creating a new project a pop up window will appear now so it is appear now so it is asking for the name of the project so i am giving my project name as sr flip flop one and click next as we don't have any changes there and finish it now we have to add a source to our project so i am selecting new source since we are writing our code in verilog language we are using verilog module and now it is asking for a file name for the identification purpose i am just taking it as sr flip flop 1 now a window appeared where it is asking for the inputs and outputs since here we have two inputs sr and clk and two outputs q and qb here the s and r are two bits so i am taking it as collectively and i am giving it in a array that is 1 is to 0 and i gave clk as input and q and qb as output now click fin finish it now a window appeared that is sr flip flop 1 dot v uh here they gave a program and now i am writing a program i am taking module which is a basic rule and i am giving my file name as sr flip flop 1 which is i gave in a file name section now open a bracket and give all the inputs and the outputs you have in that i have sr and clk as inputs and q and qb are outputs so i gave sr comma clk comma q comma qb and now we are writing inputs and outputs we have that is uh, we have input 1 is to 0 sr and input clk and uh, we have the outputs q and qb that also we are writing now in behavioral case method or in a behavioral method we should always take the outputs as a register that is we have to declare the output as a register so i am declaring my outputs q and qb as register i am taking always at the positive edge of the clock now begin i am beginning my program c on the basis of behavioral case method i am using case of 
SR. Now, in this case method, we have to give the conditions based on the truth table. Just look at a truth table. Here, for 0, 0, we have the output Q. For 0, 1, we have the output 0. And for the 1, 0, we have the output 1. And for 1, 1, we have the output 0. Based on the truth table, we are going to write the conditions in the program. Now, for SR, if the SR is 0, 0, that is 2 bit 0, 0, the output must be the Q, that is its previous value. So, in the next case, if the SR is 0, 1, that is 2 bit B, 0, 1, then the output Q must be is equal to 0 that I have written as 1 bit B0. So next case 2 bit B10 that the output came as Q is equal to 1 bit B1. And the last case if the SR is 1 1 the output must be a undetermined form so I gave it as Q is equal to 1 bit big X. Now I am ending my case because of my four conditions are all over so I am ending the case using the code word end case. Now we have the output Q but in the truth table as you see the there must be a QB that is the Q bar. So I am uh, giving the value of the QB. So since uh, the QB is the negotiation of Q so I gave the QB is equal to the negotiation of Q. Now let's end by using end and end module. So now I am saved the program and I have to see whether my program is having any syntax error or not. So I am giving, I am checking it for check syntax and it's now taking progress. Since this program is not having any syntax error, it shows the process check syntax completed successfully. Now I have to create a test bench for simulation purpose. So I am selecting Verilog test feature and it is asking for file name and I am giving the file name as sr flip one underscore db1. Now you can see the previously we have written sr flip one file that is uh, we have written program in it. That file appeared here. You can see here. Click next and click finish. Now my test bench will appear and it will generate my test bench here. So I got my test bench here. The test bench must be written based on the truth table. The there is no need to confuse here because we have to write the test bench based on the truth table. Here we go. Here we have a test truth table just have a look at once that is all about inputs and outputs and we will give the test bench based on the inputs that is on SR the first condition for the SR is there is 0 0 right though I am giving the last uh, here there is a last thing right I am giving that in test bench as SR is equal to 2 bit B 0 0 since I am taking my clock on the positive edge cycle so I am taking clock is equal to 1 and after the 15 nanosecond I am changing my SR to the value 2 bit B01 again after the another 15 nanosecond I am changing my SR value to 2 bit 10 and similar to like similar to that I am changing to 2 bit 11 and also 2 bit x x that is undetermined form as we have all these values in the truth table you can see now I have 0 0 I have 0 1 I have 1 1 and I have 1 0 and I have undetermined form 2 now now we should generate our clock that is we have to generate our clock now I am writing always since we have taken uh, 15 nanosecond interval between the each change of our inputs I will take uh, 25 nanoseconds that is half of it uh, so that uh, I can see both the outputs when the clock is in positive edge and negative edge so I am choosing as 25 that is 25 nanoseconds clock must be equals to negotiation of clock now 
I am saving my program and uh, I check. Uh, I have given it for behavioral check syntax where it checks for is if there any error in in my test bench. So as there are no error, I have got behavior check syntax successfully, and now I am simulating it. Now it is taking my progress. Now a window appeared as it has in my simulation of sr flip flop now you can cross check it with the trip table you that you have let's do that so you can see for 0 0 the output must be the previous value of q and qb since the q and qb are not uh, registered with any uh, inputs so we have undetermined form that has been continued here 0 0 for xx and for 0 1 the output is the output q is 0 and output qb is 1 you can see in the test bench that uh, output 0 for 1 0 the output is 1 and uh, output qb is 0 now you can check in the truth table all the above values that has been given in the truth table and in the simulation graph you can cross verify it for the one one it has been undetermined form so here it came with a red color then if the clock is zero the out and uh, the inputs are undetermined form the output must be the previous value that is q and qb the first condition you can see so in the previous section uh, that is for one one the outputs are the undetermined so it has been continued for the condition clock is equal to zero so we end up the program here this was my first video with the uh, audio so i think i have made a uh, several grammatical mistakes because as i have to talk continuously as the program is running so i think i have made mo uh, more mistakes kindly bear it if you like this video and uh, if you find this video informative please like and share it with your friends who are in need and uh, please subscribe to my channel Kiran Ellur. Thank you.